from a service assurance perspective with, with, with respect to how customers are seeing service providers like us addressing and dealing with these questions, when you deal with people that potentially could be at home, so again, this isn't really the pandemic, this is the new business world of, hey, wait a minute, I'm, I'm, I'm in a hybrid environment, I have people that are working or flexible and remote. Um, the idea of acquiring services into the cloud, it raises a really interesting question about where is the boundary of where a managed service provider, a carrier like us who provides managed services, starts and stops with respect to the cloud service. Um, I do believe that customers um, absolutely vary in their skill sets and what they expect from businesses in order to be able to help and support them. Unfortunately, securing cloud services isn't necessarily um, the easiest thing to do. You need to be fairly uh, competent and fairly experienced in doing that. Um, our cloud partners, uh, the, the biggest names that we know, um, they do their best to make their services approachable and to be able to be supported. So there is absolutely an opportunity uh, to step up what we do from being able to provide a, a more robust service all the way to the edge of the cloud. Like for example, I'll just say, um, I'll just pick one, Amazon. If we, if we provide access for a customer, maybe we extend our presence all the way into the Amazon cloud. We use virtual CPE. We put a security wrapper all the way to the cloud. Now we really can provide that robust experience for the customer regardless of where their employees are. But now the question is, well, if something happened on the Amazon side, where is it? that we start and stop? Where is it that our partners at Amazon start and stop? How do we do that in support with the customer? So it's a really interesting question. It's a really interesting question in multi-cloud when you're moving workloads between different cloud providers. Uh, where is it that the capability, the technology exists, but the ability to facilitate the movement of the workload is another interesting area. I think it's, a, 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 I think it's an opportunity for a lot of people out there. It is something that we're very aware of that we think a lot about, um, and we suspect that there's gonna be a lot of demand for customers for more and more help.